And today, guys, we have this super awesome, super cool, tiny potion maker automatic style guys as you can see it can make four item potions very simply and easy they all go right through here done done and done tiny tuesday tutorial starting right now hey there guys skippy here for room skippy six gaming guys coming to you with a crazy tiny tuesday tutorial like i promised guys every tuesday we're gonna do something tiny and this is that right there guys for this one here let's go for uh 582 likes if you are down with the cause don't forget to hit me up below guys consider subscribing if you like minecraft bedrock tutorials and let's plays and news and info and stuff this is the place to get it so let's start this off big shout outs one up gaming i seen this i was like holy cow it's pretty much the tiniest automatic potion brewer ever this does four ingredients count them four ingredients all you do is put the stuff in and then it holds them they're held in there so it's still brewing from the last one i pushed uh but you're gonna see after this one here what it's gonna do is it's gonna go ahead and throw in the redstone dust and it's gonna turn it into an eight mission minute potion of invisibility once it's done i've been testing different ingredients these are the same potions but with the ingredients backwards yes and uh yeah so link to link to one up gaming's channel in the description below we're gonna tell you what you need we're gonna build this guy basically like i said it holds the potions in here once they're done they're gonna stay and then when you're done with that, all you got to do is press the button. And then guess what? They all go through to the chest. Once they're all in the chest, you're going to get those. And it's going to start brewing some more again. So, yeah, let's start this off. We're going to tell you what you need for this build. You're going to need two sticky pistons, two redstone blocks, four droppers, uh, one wooden button, one brewing stand, two chests, uh, one item frame to make it look pretty, and four hoppers. So... You're going to need water bottles for brewing, and you're going to need up to four ingredients for your build. In addition to that, guys, we're going to maybe do a little change, and I'm going to do some testing in-game with you. So, basically, the way the ingredients work on this one here is the first one goes here, the second one goes here, the third one goes here, and the fourth one goes here. That said, this is going to change if you change the rotation. So, based on what, what direction your hoppers are facing, so we're going to build it the opposite way and see exactly what change happens, and then you'll know exactly where they go based on both directions so let's go over here we're going to start this guy off with a sticky piston facing backwards like this into a redstone block in addition to that we might as well place this guy like this and grab a redstone block right here let's get rid of this guy and this guy here that's the basis of most of your build right there it's that that little kind of circuit combo yeah perfect take this guy here chest goes here go ahead and grab your hopper right here hopper goes into the chest perfect Brewing stand right here. Bango. How does that sound? Sounds good to me. So let's go ahead and throw a few more hoppers. Crouch place. Hopper down into this guy. Crouch place. Hopper into the front of this guy, right? That's what we need. Uh, the hopper goes into the front because it's going to be your uh, water bottles. So let's go ahead and change this. I want this to look good. Yep, perfect. Awesome. So once we've done this, we're going to go ahead and turn around right here. And I feel like we're going to want to extend this out a little bit just to, just to sit down. Go ahead and crouch place. Crouch, bang, hopper here. So dropper time. So what we're going to do here is, as you can see on the first one, Basically, this hopper is going to sit on that redstone, right? So let's see if we can't fit it right here. Hopper or dropper, dropper. Make sure we do droppers right here. You could get rid of this guy unnecessary. So uh, actually, it is kind of necessary because I need it to stand on. And then this guy here, you're going to see what we want is for him to face up. This is very unique, right? We're going to want this guy to face up. So I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to actually place this guy in. I think we'll do it like this. Like that. Perfect. Dropper facing up. Dropper facing up. And then on this side, we want a dropper facing this way. So let's put a placeholder block right here. Dropper facing this way. So let's get rid of our holders. Not needed anymore. None of them. Make sure you move them. Done, 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 and done. And this guy here is unnecessary. You're going to need that to access your brewing stand. Go ahead and put a solid block right here. And this is where you put your wooden button. So... Let's go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and stock up. I'll just time lapse it. We're going to stock these guys up in the manner that we feel is necessary for our brewing stands, including water bottles and everything. I'm just going to use my bar here and I'll time lapse it. And okay, so now that we have everything that we need to get this potion brewer going, you're going to see that we set it up. First things first, throw your blaze powder in here. You're going to need some blaze powder. Yeah, that's right. Go ahead, go up here. So now because we switched the direction, 
because we switched the direction, I have a funny feeling that instead of this order, it's going to go in basically Nether Wart first in this one here. The second one is going to be in this one right here. Second one, Golden Carrots. Third one, Fermented Spider Eye right here. And right over here, last but not least, Redstone Dust. That's going to make it long. Again, you're going to put Gunpowder if you want it to go even longer than that. That's going to be where your water bottles are at. And you can see that it's ready for love. Perfect. Go ahead and press the button and we're going to see exactly what happens. And as you can see, that was the moment we were waiting for. We know now that the golden carrot is the second ingredient. And we know that the fermented spider eye is going to come out next. And we can feel good about it. Uh, and yeah, so guys, if it is different, it bases on direction. It does. Hoppers, that's how it works. Let's go over here and uh, yeah, let's do this. So let's do this. Let's do this. Let's go ahead and throw an item frame on the front to make it look pretty like that. Guys, don't forget to smash that like before you go. Don't forget as well to subscribe to my channel for uh, yeah, cool tutorials tutorials let's plays and stuff thanks a lot for tuning in and i'll catch you on the next one i don't know what's going on here i can't get this to get out of my world no matter what i do it stays it just keeps coming back i don't know what it is all right